Hi everyone, it's Hannah here and today we're brainstorming for Loop, which I think is day 19 of Inktober, correct me if I'm wrong. I am I just wanted to say quickly a huge thank you for all the nice comments I'm receiving. Like, I genuinely, I started these videos thinking this will be a fun project and I can look back on them and see some ideas for when I'm drawing for Inktober and like hopefully some people out there see it and find it useful. But I was not expecting to get such sweet and helpful, uh, like encouraging comments. So huge thank you to all of you and thanks for sharing your ideas as well because I love, I love the inspiration going around. Anyway, let's get down to it. Loop, so you could do an abstract drawing. So one that involves lots of loops. You could do like a life cycle. So I remember in primary school you would learn about like the life cycle of like a tadpole or something going into a frog. So maybe you do a life cycle with either a realistic creature or a creature that you've made up and it's going in a loop because it keeps going around as they grow up and then as they have babies. A loop could also be like a curl, so you could have a curl in um, maybe hair, so you've got someone with long hair and it's got little loops in it, and you could even link it to the knot prompt, which is uh, day four, I think, so maybe you could um, combine the two prompts. You could do the idea of overthinking, so when some words or a phrase or something that you're ruminating on is going around in your head like, oh, oh, I'm really anxious about this thing and it keeps looping around, it keeps going over and over and you can't stop thinking about it. So like repeating something. And some ways to draw that could be someone looking really distressed or it could be someone uh, who's got like thoughts up above and looking really sad below and um, you could draw with little symbols what you've got happening that represents those anxious thoughts. So one thing I find quite inspirational to do and useful for art is looking up symbology. So looking up symbols like what represents love, what represents um, hate or sadness and you don't have to use all of those symbols, but they can be some good prompts. So if you're talking about anxiety, you can talk about like how it makes you feel. Maybe it's a squirming kind of pit in your stomach and you want to find a symbol to represent that. Or you could do a drawing of other things that go in a loop, like a, um, a cable or a slinky. You could also do a ribbon. You know those um, gymnastics People who, like, I remember in the Olympics seeing people doing, art. is it artistic gymnastics? I know there's rhythmic and artistic. I think it's artistic. And they've got a wand and then a ribbon on there. So you could do, like, a dancer or a gymnast who's using a ribbon. Or you could do a ribbon in hair. Or you could do a ribbon, like, a bow on a present. You could do the infinity sign. Maybe there's a cool way that you can incorporate that into your art. Maybe you want to do some word art where you write the word in an artsy way and incorporate the loop into the word somehow, either with a calligraphy pen or just a normal, your regular pen. Okay, there we go for loop. Let me know if you have any other ideas about what to draw in the, in the comments below. My name's Hannah and Shadows Exhibit is my collection of artworks. If you want to see what I end up doing for Inktober, check out my social media below. See you next time.